The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs continues to manage the fourth wave in country. From July 25, 2021 to present, we note 6,475 cases and an average of 84 cases per day. 50% are in the age group of 25 to 49 years. 57% of the cases are female. And at present, we have 1,114 active cases in country. The majority of the cases are from Castries, Groselais, Viewfort, and Babano. There are presently 55 COVID-19 patients admitted to the respiratory hospital. Two of them require critical care and nine are severely ill. The daily infection rate for the past week was 22.1 per 100,000 per day, which is a 68% decrease from the previous week. We note a steady decline in the rate of transmission at this point with a present rate of 1.3. During that period, we note 133 COVID-19 deaths, on average three deaths daily, with a case fatality rate of 2.1%. Males account for 56% of the deaths. We note an increase in severe cases, admissions, and deaths from the southwestern zone of the country, which also corresponds to the areas of low vaccination uptake. Today, Monday, October 11th, 2021, the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs received a notification from the Caribbean Public Health Agency of nine new cases of the Delta variant. All of the cases are nationals from across the island. Seven of them are female, two are male, and the ages range from 25 to 69 years. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs notes reduction in the transmission rate, the hospitalization rates, positivity rates, prevalence rates, and forecast average resolution of this fourth wave by November 2021 if there are no major increases in risks for new transmission. We continue to note cases diagnosed related to social activities, workplaces, and spread between families. To date, the positive cases diagnosed in country, less than 2% of them are fully vaccinated, and 98% of the COVID-19 deaths and COVID-related deaths at the respiratory hospital were unvaccinated. The 2% deaths who were fully vaccinated had other serious underlying health conditions which contributed to their demise. We continue to ask the public to work with us and exhibit responsible behavior to manage this fourth wave. Let us all take personal responsibility to keep ourselves and families safe. We continue to have available both the Pfizer and the AstraZeneca vaccine free of charge in country at the various wellness centers. These vaccines have been proven to be safe and effective in protecting persons from developing COVID-19 in severe forms, complications, hospitalizations, and death. Parents are also encouraged to vaccinate their children from 12 years and older. Let us make the educational environment safer. We continue to advise the public to remain vigilant and adhere to the protocols that are put in place to keep us safe. These include regular hand washing, use of face masks in public places, avoiding crowds and persons with respiratory symptoms, and keeping frequently touched surfaces clean. The Ministry of Health and Wellness, we will continue providing updates to the public as new information becomes available.